hi guys so this is the reboxing unboxing of my teddy blake handbag please don't ask me why i still put that bag back inside the box because it is meant to be treated with care so teddy blake reached out to me and told me that they are going to be giving massive discount to any of my subscribers wanting to buy this bag i just wanted to show you guys what this bag can take this bag can take a lot of things it can work as your work bag it can work as a bag you used to go to school you can put everything see me putting keloscope even inside the bag tissue as small as this bag looks everything can enter the bag so it's mother's day gay 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 and if you want to treat yourself to any of these Teddy Blake handbags, I'm going to be dropping the link in my description box to the guarantee they are giving you for using any of their bags. It is premium quality guarantee. So these prices you are seeing on the screen, they are going to be giving you up to 75% of any bag you select on their website. So I'm personally eyeing this orange bag. Go get one for your mom, your girlfriend, your sister, your bestie, and they make one bestie. <laughs> Just go get one and use the link in my description. <laughs> I don't know when last I picked up my camera to vlog, but today is my traditional wedding anniversary. <laughs> this is um six years in marriage now. I just came back from work and I came back. I said traditional wedding anniversary. What am I going to do for my Igbo man? <laughs> so I'm going to be preparing um roasted yam and oba. If you are, if, uh, they call this oil bean, right? This is Uba. If you have not seen the video of the things I brought with me to the UK, go and check that out. I posted the Uba there. I already washed the yam I want to use. Don't mind me. This is my Ijebu Gari and granite. That's amazing. So this is what my oil, my 5 liters of oil is running now. When this oil finished, I don't know what I'm going to buy. If you have, if you have used, if you bought oil in the UK before, and you've used it and it's good, please I need a picture. Please help me comment the name of the oil down below, because if this oil finishes, you see now I'm getting another one from Nigeria, or I start cooking without oil, which is not possible. So... This is the dried uba I brought with me from Nigeria. This is how the dried one looks like. And after soaking it in water, it will come out like this. So, let's start cooking. The first thing I want to do is roast the yam. So, I have this Ninja air fryer. I use it to air fry it ha also has the grill parts it also has the roasting parts and every every so i'm using the roasting option of the air fryer to roast the yam so the first thing i put is a parchment paper so that the yam doesn't stick to the corners of the bowl then i add the yam i salted the yam a little bit and um, started grilling the yam so i put the yam in the air fryer I turned on the air fryer, put it in the roasting part. Roasting is 190 degrees. So I turned on the air fryer for 20 minutes. While the yam is roasting, let us have this little heart to heart talk. I want you guys to tell me how you do child care in the UK here or abroad generally. How do you take care of the family as a mom and you get to work and man thank god for the husbands that have been lending helping hands yes i know it's is okay like you know it's what you're supposed to do as um, a father and a husband you know contributes to caring for the kids but let us not even lie from where we are coming from it is not like a man's thing but i've still seen men in the uk here come out to help their wives shout out to you guys but i really want to know how do you guys do it this is the yam. I had to remove the paper stuff and I flipped it. 
So this is the roasted yam. I think I will need to roast for another five minutes. This is after 20 minutes, I mean 25 minutes. I need to sit for another five minutes so that it can have all those, you know, black, black things. I've not even finished the food though and the yam is already giving everything roasted yam is supposed to give so after that i'm supposed to start making the sauce now this is me i've already boiled the stock fish i'm going to use that was what the water is for so i've boiled the stock fish and i want to go ahead to blend the pepper mix i'm going to use so the yam is done that's the yam there <laughs> i want to do the Fish now. So I'm going to air fry the fish too. This is it. I just brought out four. At this point, I heated up the oil, went ahead to add onions. After adding onions, I sauteed it a little bit, then added all my fish inside as the stock fish and the dry fish. See me, I was just dancing. I wanted to wheel. <laughs> I wanted to wee, but I just wanted to finish this food before I wee. So I was just dancing and, you know, <sighs> after adding the stock fish, I turned it, turned it and allowed the whole oil to mix inside the fish. Then later, I went ahead to add my pepper mix. Then I stirred it for a while and I allowed it to cook. Have you eaten yam and uba before? I know some people used to eat it with um boiled yam. Some people used to eat it with roasted yam have you eaten this meal before is this something you've tasted is this something that you want to taste let me know in the comment section so when next i added the crayfish after adding the crayfish i, I like adding crayfish very well to any local dish i'm cooking so that it brings out the taste after adding the crayfish i went ahead to add um ehuru in english is called calabash nutmeg it gives the dish a kind of you know flavor they use that ehuru for abacha and all that so i just wanted to include it then i added the uba i added everything and turned it so we're almost coming to the final stage of this cooking i stirred it and um, allowed it to cook for a bit at this point kilo was already disturbing me so I felt he was hungry and I decided to make food for him. This is another point of motherhood that is tiring. You want to feed these children food and they'll be stressing your life. You can even stay like 30 minutes giving this boy one plate of food. So I was just multitasking, feeding him with one hand and still cooking with the other hand. So we are almost done with the food. That's just it. I think it's just a simple dish you eat with yam. In this particular one, I went to go and do a shedru. I added the um, tuna fish inside because I felt the fish was not just enough. So I added tuna fish to this one. Added magi. I used the Niger pot um, magi. That's what I used for this particular dish. And then it's almost ready. Just to negodu now. This food is already giving all that it is meant to give from the appearance to the aroma that has filled my kitchen. I know my neighbors will be wondering what is this woman cooking. So I had already started dishing out the yam because I go agubuna your girl. I started dishing out the yam and dishing out the food to eat. By this time, the fish was still air frying because I put it for 25 minutes. I wanted it to be, you know, strong enough to be eaten. So I fried the fish. The fish was already ready. I went and I started adding the fish. For the purpose of this video, I used just two. But as a hoodlum that I am, I still went back to eat the remaining two. <laughs> so this is me dishing out the food. At this point, Big Joe was already ready to eat. I don't know where he was at this point, but I know that immediately I brought the food. He was there. 
if you are enjoying this video so far kindly give me a thumbs up smash that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications for more videos thank you we prayed and we started eating and gisting and talking about how far we've come six years is not being so i stayed six years in the marriage with the, my coconut head and they did not pursue me back to my father's house it is not by my making please say a prayer for us in the comment section Thank you guys for your love and your support. If you know you have not subscribed to my channel by this time, I don't know what you're waiting for. I have been giving you premium content for free back to back. So please do well to hit that subscribe button for me. Turn on your bell notification so that each time I post a new video, you'll be notified. Give this video a very big thumbs up. So this is Big Joe giving the review about the food. He says it's nice, but I would have put the food in a bowl so that he can, you know, take the oil together with the food. Look how girls do not understand all those ones. I shall know you enjoyed the food and that's all about that. Thank you guys for your support so far. Thank you guys for your love. I don't take your love for granted. Feel free to binge watch on my videos. I have a lot of amazing content for you to watch and share with your friends and to share with your groups too. YouTube have told me that a lot of people watch my content but they don't subscribe. Please, you're going to be helping my channel grow by subscribing and clicking on the like button also on my channel there's a thank you sticker that you can send to me you can tap on the thank you sticker and send me something thank you